Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at how we can add gravity and collisions to our game. We'll be adding this to the 3D platformer series we've been building. You can download this project and the final game we're working towards by supporting us on Patreon. All the links you need can be found in the description. Ok, so we currently have a scene where we can use the keyboard or gamepad to move the player around. At the moment the player doesn't fall off the edge and it can pass through obstacles. To solve this we need to add a new component to the player. We'll stop the game and select the player in the hierarchy. Then we'll go over to the inspector and click the add component button. There are two possible components that we could add to achieve what we want. The first is the character controller component. This component would allow us to quickly set up player movement that is constrained by collisions. However, there are some limitations that will make things more difficult down the line, mainly with how it detects and handles collisions. The other option, and the one we're going to use, is a rigid body. Let's search for this and add it to the player. Adding a rigid body component will put the player under the control of Unity's physics engine, allowing it to react to collisions and forces. Let's press play to try this out. It still looks the same at the moment, but the player is now being pulled down by gravity and colliding with the platform. To demonstrate this, we'll select the platform in the hierarchy. Then we'll go to the inspector. We can see it has a box collider component. This is what tells Unity how to collide with this object. If we click this checkbox to disable it, we can see the player now falls through as it has nothing to collide with. Now that we're using a rigid body, we need to make some changes to our script. Let's stop the game and open the player controller script. At the moment we're updating the position of the player based on the input received. We're going to change this to use the rigid body to drive the movement instead. We'll add a field to hold a reference to the rigid body. Then in the awake method we'll call getComponent to retrieve the rigid body and assign it to the field. Now we have the rigid body, we can set its velocity to make it move. We'll delete the line where we change the position. Then we'll calculate the desired velocity. The velocity represents the direction and speed we want to move. So the calculation will be the direction as determined by the movement input, multiplied by the speed field. That means most of this calculation can stay as it is. We'll change the name of the position change variable to velocity. We'll also remove the time.delta time part as the rigid body will take the frame rate into account for us. One other thing we now need to take into account is gravity. The player is being pulled down by gravity so the rigid body will have a speed in the y direction. At the moment we're resetting the speed in the y direction to zero every frame, which will cancel out the gravity. To fix this, we'll set the y value of the desired velocity to the current y speed of the rigid body. We can get the velocity of the rigid body from its linear velocity value. Then we'll just take the y value. This will make sure the y speed is unchanged by our calculation. Now we can set the linear velocity of the rigid body to our desired velocity. The final change we need to make to the script is to change the update method to the fixed update method. The fixed update method is where all physics calculations should be done. It's called by Unity at a fixed interval, which ensures physics calculations are consistent. As the rigid body is part of the physics system, any changes to it should be done in here. 
OK, let's save this and switch back to Unity to try this out. Now we can press the keys to move the player around. The player doesn't stay upright for long though. The forces acting on the player now cause it to fall over. We can easily fix this by freezing the rotation of the rigid body. Let's stop the game and select the player in the hierarchy. Then we'll go to the inspector and expand the constraints section of the rigid body. We'll freeze the rotation of the rigid body on all axes. This will stop the player rotating and falling over. Let's press play to try this out. Now we can move around without falling over. We can also fall off the edge and collide with the other platform. We stick to the side of the platform a bit, but we'll fix that in a future video. In the next video in this series, we'll look at how we can make the player jump. If you want to be alerted when this one's out, then subscribe and click the bell icon. If you have any questions or feedback on this video, let us know in the comments. A big thank you to all our patrons, we really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Thanks guys!